Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to be making the viral Cookie Monster cookies, y'all. I have seen these cookies on Instagram. I have seen these cookies on TikTok, Facebook, any social media platform, you name it. So we are gonna get into it today. This recipe is super, super easy. And y'all, the cookies actually was really, really good. Like, get into the vibes, okay? Get into the blue. First of all, shout out to It Really Is Giving Cookie Monster. We have Chips Ahoy cookies. We have Oreo cookies. We have all different types of chocolate chips. It literally is a cookie monster cookie. So if you love chocolate, if you love all these different types of variety of cookies, then this recipe is most definitely for you. And I thought it was real cute. So if you're having um, a Cookie Monster themed anything or, you know, want to do something fun with the kids, y'all, this is it but the cookies was flames the cookies was given everything that they were supposed to give so let's go ahead and jump head first into this recipe so first we're going to start off with our brown sugar and our white sugar i will leave all measurements down in the description box below then i'm going to add some unsalted butter and with our paddle attachment we are going to go ahead and cream together the sugar and the butter Once your sugar and your butter comes together, you're going to go ahead and add in your eggs one at a time. So you wanna wait until it's just a little incorporated before adding in the other egg. We're also gonna add in some vanilla extract, and then we're gonna go ahead and beat that um, for a few moments. Now we're gonna add in our blue food coloring. Now you can use, I personally like gel. I think that it gave the blue like a nice, nice bold blue because some of these cookies that I have seen, they've been giving green, you know, they haven't been giving blue. So I use gel food coloring, you use whatever you want. Um, but again, that will be down in the description box below. I believe it was Americolors Navy Blue is what I use to achieve this depth of a blue. So I gave the bowl a quick scrape down just to make sure everything was incorporated. So now we're gonna add in all of our dry ingredients. So I started with the all-purpose flour. Then we're gonna add in some salt. Baking powder. And we're gonna go ahead and get your mixer going on low you don't want to turn it up too high too fast because then you're going to have a big flower cloud in your kitchen and don't nobody clean cleaning it. all that up nobody has time for that okay so um you want to give this um just a nice mix just until well combined do not over mix this dough then we're going to start with our white chocolate chips i have some milk chocolate chips we have semi-sweet chocolate chips chips ahoy cookies the minis um, are perfect for this recipe some crunched up oreo cookies and y'all listen dig deep 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 into your pantry to get the elbow grease that you're gonna need to to work this in and you have to fold this in please avoid using your stand mixer because then it gets all crunched up and that's not the look that we're going for okay so um using all my little back stock of elbow grease i got that thing worked in there and then i'm gonna take um just a tablespoon just so i can measure out exactly how much dough um so that all of my cookies are pretty much you know identical and similar in size so i took you know just a very generous portion with my tablespoon at first i tried two tablespoons but as you can see that is entirely too big um if you want to do the method where they stuff the actual oreo inside then you would just do one tablespoon put the oreo on and then add the other tablespoon on stop on top but i decided to just use one um tablespoon roll it around and then what you do not see here is me actually pressing the cookies down before i put them in the oven um but we're going to go ahead and roll them out 
And then as you can see, I'm trying to add um, just a little bit more of some of everything. On top of the cookie, if I felt like I looked at it and it was missing, you know, a chocolate chip or missing a cookie, I just went ahead and pressed it into the dough on top. Also, as you can see, I was able to fit 12 of these cookies on a cookie sheet comfortably. Um, so like I said before, I went ahead and just kind of looked at the cookie. Hey, it's missing this because you want these to be very, you know, cookie monstrous. You want them to be appealing to the eye. It's supposed to be a fun cookie um, and very decorative with edible cookie like items, you know. So add whatever you feel like the cookie is missing. There's no wrong or white right way. There isn't a certain amount of cookies that each cookie should have. Like it shouldn't have two chips ahoy. Like just have fun with it. Um, freestyle. And again, this is a perfect way to get your kids involved so that they have fun with something that they eat. We're going to put this in the oven on 350 for 10 to 12 minutes. And then I went ahead and made it made another sheet. So all in total, we have about 20 cookies and these are nice size cookies. So I thought that that yield um, quite a good amount of cookies. So I'm just adding to the second batch of what I felt like the cookie was missing. And then we're also going to throw these in the oven on 350 um, as well. So after 10 to 12 minutes, this is what our cookie is given. And guys, be careful not to over bake them. You don't want them to turn um, extra brown and which in caused it to turn green on the bottom so just go ahead and trust the process um i did mine for 12 minutes to be exact and the cookie is perfect it's not hard it's nice and soft um but it is amazingly beautiful y'all get into the cookie and look how beautiful they are like oh it's so fun and as you can see on the bottom it is done and that's that green color that i told you we wanted to avoid going around oh look at the chocolate on my hand going around so i am going to let these cool for about 10 minutes before we get into it or you can enjoy it warm with a nice tall glass of milk but y'all let me know if we nailed it did we nail the viral tiktok instagram facebook any social media famous cookie monster cookies did we nail it leave down in the comment section below um how you like these cookies if you make them please let me know how they turn out because i love when you guys give me feedback with recipes that work for you so i had so much fun making these cookies they came out perfect and yeah i hope you guys really enjoy so i will see y'all on the next video Take care.